Well, good morning everyone from a chilly but nice and sunny uh, Amsterdam. We've just uh, got up, it's about 8am here, uh, which is about, well, it's about half past eight now. We got up about 7am UK time, our normal time. Yeah. I'm all fluffy and uh, snuggly this morning. But yeah, it's nice and sunny, completely different in the day. So you'll have seen the different barges there, it looks completely different. We're going to jump on the ferry again, which is every 15 minutes in the morning. In the busy times, it's every 15 in the slower times every 30 so we've got another one in about 10 minutes and we'll uh, go across into that uh, center area and go for the nice breakfast pancakes i'm really excited the, the, the traditional amsterdam pancakes are a bit different from what you're used to at home but they still look amazing and how did you sleep last night lovely actually it's just when i got this morning oh my god i, I, I took the blank off but no put the blankets back on it was, it was chilly when we got up this morning, but I did sleep well. It was comfy, yeah. that bed. And it was nice. Um, you could hear the rain on the skylight a little bit. It rained for about 15 God, minutes yeah, or I so. Yeah, out straight away. And then uh, looking out this morning, that nice square window at the end of the bed, you could see out and see, uh, see it going light across the city. It was lovely. Gorgeous, yeah. So we'll catch you when we're on the other side, but we'll show you a few of the sights along the way in the daytime this time. So we are now in Pancakes Amsterdam, which has been going for 15 years. Laura found this one online on the gluten-free. So Laura's got a gluten-free pancake on the way. We've both gone for a caramel, salted caramel coffee. Yeah, it's really strong. Very strong. A little street waffle in this one, so it's very, very busy. It opens at eight o'clock till six o'clock, but very busy in here. Yeah, you have to wait till it's a shared table. So we'll let, let Laura enjoy her pancakes. A bit too early for me to eat pancakes, and then we'll see where the day takes us. Alcohol in your pancake. Well, we'll see when this comes. I think I might have to hunt out a Starbucks as well because uh, this coffee is a little bit too strong for me. Oh, so, pancakes all done. Uh, for the pancake and the two coffees was 26. Have you enjoyed it? Again, another safe place because they put a little chip, little plastic chip on the plate to say that it was an allergy meal. Again, yeah. safe for me. So we're wandering down this main street here. We're going to head to the Starbucks, which I can see in the distance. Get myself a coffee. I did try that one. It wasn't a bit too strong, strong for me. That's all. Coffee, but I tried yeah. it. I tried it. But uh, I'd like a little Starbucks to uh, start my day. I can't eat this early. I don't normally eat till about one o'clock, so I couldn't eat a pancake at this hour. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna try and find uh, the T-Mobile store so I can try and buy a SIM card to get a little bit of data and maybe do a live stream or at least have data on my phone to navigate around with the maps. It will be a little bit easier. I haven't got uh, any data roaming, so we'll see if we can find that as well. And then uh, see what happens. But yeah, interesting little place for breakfast, that, the pancake place. Well, I've read online, you've got to get there early, and by the time we left, lined down the street to get Yeah, in. big queue. A lot of these little restaurants, they're only they're small. Tiny. They're all little quaint little restaurants, aren't they? Yeah, so you can't off. fit many people in. Yeah, get there early. So I'll just show you this here. It's stunning. Just the architecture on these buildings, absolutely stunning. This is what I was looking forward to coming to see. All these different buildings, Loads of these are all wonky and slanted. It's just yeah, really interesting. Like it looks like it's just going to topple over. They just look like something from Harry Potter. 
do love wandering along these streets. This has got quite a few shops on here as well. There's actually a Primark over there, believe it or not. TK Maxx. So yeah, we'll have a little wander along here and just see how it goes. This is what's sort of nice about the little city break. You just wander around, you've got no particular plans and just see what happens. Well, I've got my Starbucks coffee. I love my unique Starbucks and this is an old bank. Very interesting indeed. Some amazing uh, different mugs. We have bought one of them. We've gone for the Amsterdam mug that I like. And then also the range of pastries and donuts and cookies and that in there is amazing. Very tempted. I did go for a little pan of chocolate in the end. Keeping it simple with some lovely looking pastries and stuff in there. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this in an old bank. I like the way they take over the old classic buildings. Now I'm going to give a big credit here to Amsterdam and the Netherlands for this right here. Big sign, beware of pickpockets. And now where we are and where we come from in Tenerife, it's a big problem over there. But we don't warn anyone, we don't put any signs anywhere, we don't give out any leaflets here. Big sign in the middle of the square here, beware of pickpockets. And I love that. Something that we should do. Yeah, and there's also definitely. On a bike, just chill and watch it. Yeah. So uh, big credit for that. People think, oh, that might put people off putting a big sign about pickpockets. It doesn't at all. It makes you feel a lot safer. And it, it just reminds me, I've just checked my pocket, check where my phone is. It makes you feel like the government actually care about you. Yeah. So uh, well, big, that, yeah. big ups for that. Definitely. We're going to carry on around here and find the T-Mobile store. We've got Madame Two Swords just there as well. It's just views and scenery all the way around. Every single building is beautiful. I mean, you could spend about Old. two weeks here and just get lost. And I mean, even just the clock up there, the detail on the clock, it's just so different. Wow. So we've just popped in to the swatch store and they do have a moon swatch for me. So very lucky, I am getting it. And I'll show you once I've got it, I'm excited. But uh, very lucky here, they've got the full gorgeous store this. Uh, store they have two left uh, one of them's pink and I've bought the other one well I finally got it I got the mission to Mars absolutely love it now he did say you've got to be careful there's a lot of fakes out there online as well there's a lot of resellers obviously selling them for more money but there's a lot of fakes going on now as well as like you said they had nine people last week come in with fake ones so do be careful if you get one online but I got one retail absolutely made up made up there you go Sorted. So this is the full range of moon swatches. Obviously, you, you, there's only a few available, but there's the full range. That's the one I've got. And uh, there's a little uh, warning there about the fake ones. Do be careful. The fakers do get on anything that they can. So uh, do be careful online. I'm going to head now to uh, T-Mobile. Well, we got a SIM card, but not from T-Mobile. He sent us to the bazaar shop opposite, which was just a sort of general souvenir store, that yeah. sort of place. And they had them all in the back. Uh, so I got a five gigabyte SIM card was 25 euros, uh, but it is what it is. I want to do some live streams. I want to be able to navigate around. Yeah. Uh, if you are a little bit more organized than us, or you're a little bit more available with, you know, a bit more savvy with SIM cards and things, you can probably get it cheaper or just get your roaming on. But I didn't have any. I do have to leave my SIM card behind for the business. So it's a little bit different for me, but we've just stopped outside. Captain Candy, we're gonna have a quick look in this candy shop. We're not gonna buy anything though, Laura. We're just simply looking. Okay, let's have a little look in here. Wow. You're just walking down the uh, centre of street here with all the shops on and then in the middle is this crazy wonky building. But look at the all the detail on it i'd love to know what it all says just so interesting so different so unique and then you know you turn around there's your jd sports and your foot locker and all of that it's uh, so different so a little interesting fact for you as well in terms of houseboats which is what we're staying on there's actually 2500 of those here in amsterdam and there's actually Believe it or not, four more bridges here in Amsterdam than there is in Venice in oh Italy. My God. Oh you think of Venice God. and Italy, there's just bridges everywhere. everywhere. Here, four more than they have with the uh, waterway systems. 
So yeah, it's so unique. It's all known for its architecture and its artwork and it's, uh, it's just stunning, very different. Very different, all the shops are different as well. It's nice to see different stores and about a mooch, mooch and a couple. Got on clouds on in there. I've got to say as well, I bought a pair of on clouds that I'm wearing now, super comfy. Love them, yeah, dead comfy. Lovely and warm for around here as well. I've got the waterproof ones and I uh, love them. Look at this view here, see, look, it's down a little side street. Look at this. So yeah, more wonky buildings, a bit like Harry Potter. And then inside here, I believe, is a little bit of a museum, I think. You can walk straight through. So this is uh, open from 9.30 till 6. We do have to be quiet. And I'll just show you. Well, could you imagine living here? How unique is this? It's like something from a movie set. Beautiful. Yeah, so down here is obviously residents only, we can't walk down there. So unique. So that was a little bit of a museum-ish sort of piece. You could get a guided tour around there or the ones with the audio tours but Amsterdam is the uh, it's got the most museums it's got the most museum density in the whole world there are so many museums you can explore art museums all kinds look at these views now it's just more and more buildings and more and more different things to see we're completely lost but now I've got uh, 4G on the phone I don't mind that because I can just navigate my way back we're just gonna wander, get lost, and see where we end up. Because everywhere you turn, is something else to see. So, so different from where we live. And even so, so different from the UK as well. I mean, Liverpool's got some stunning buildings, but, you know, there'll be stunning buildings and then a few naff ones here. Every single building is stunning. gorgeous to I look at. The yeah. They've, when they do build a new building, they sort of connect it quite well. Yeah, I've got a nice church over there as well. Let me show you the views. Well, they're definitely doing Christmas at Cafe Hoppe. And there is over 180 different uh, coffee shops in Amsterdam to try out. Some of them do, of course, do all of the uh, wacky backy if that's what you're looking for. And then you have got, of course, the famous red light district as well. But we're far away from all of that. Uh, at the moment in this end of the woods it's gorgeous i don't know where to whether to go back this way go back that way you just don't know where to turn i'm enjoying getting lost we can go down this side street we've got other little cafes down there this is a popular one cafe de deswart that looks lovely inside a little uh, fire on the tv it looks lovely i think this is just a nice cafe you can normally distinguish which ones are cafe and food and which ones are doing all the the wacky backy, backy, backy yeah. and all of that, backy, yeah. yeah. Now I'm pretty sure this is where I've watched the guy doing the magnet fishing. He's normally pulls out about 20 million bikes. There's so many bikes in that water. Yeah. I have seen a thing that's um, when the water freezes over, some uh, bars put the tables and chairs on there and they have wow. the restaurants outside. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be amazing. I can imagine people ice skating and stuff down here as well. As I said yesterday, if you've been to Amsterdam before, let us know what was your favourite part, if you've got any tips. If you came in the summer season, looks lovely, but I do think it's a, it's a very popular winter destination, isn't it? It's a winter destination, yeah. Imagine all this filled with snow. Oh yeah, snow and ice. I mean, it's cold. Got to be prepared for the cold, but beautiful views. We've been lucky today with the weather as well. We've got blue skies around, which is uh, a blessing. So we're going to keep on wandering. I don't know which direction to go now. That way, that way. Who knows? We'll see where we end up. Oh, you end up miles away. <laughs> That's fine, I'll have to get lost. So if you like your tiles, there's a whole tile store here as well. I think you can actually paint your own inside there as well. That one's quite nice of Amsterdam, isn't it? Stunning, yeah. It's nice, that'd be a nice little piece for our mantle. That We do need a little souvenir for our TV unit. Like to get nice souvenirs, yeah, yeah, so then maybe that might be it, Laura. 
If you could get it with the little stand to stand up. We don't need the glass dome. <laughs> Although the glass dome does make it. Well, I think no, that might yeah, be a bit, bit too much for the TV unit, but should we pop in and have a look yeah, and ask? Pop in, have a look. Let's have a little look. Look at that view. As soon as you turn around, look at that for a view. Well, there are so many different designs on here. Some of them are generic, some of them are sports. I'm trying to find our Amsterdam one here. The whole wall with all the different uh, locations on. Don't come to Amsterdam if you're on a diet because you get shops like this every few yards and there's some gorgeous looking food and pastries in there. It looks amazing. <laughs> Look at all the chocolates there on display. Have you seen the chocolate bears right in front of you, Laura? And the mushrooms. Look at the mushrooms. So this store here is literally just chips. Chips with different toppings. There's all the potatoes here in the window. You can get chips with peanut sauce. What other sauces have we got, Laura? Cheese. Spicy mayo. Ketchup, curry. Curry chips. Oh, uh, you could be uh, have a little taste of that on the way back, yeah, Laura. That'd be nice. Some fries. We've got a cheese shop here as well. If you like your cheeses, more cookies. All this different cheese if you're into your cheese wow it smells cheesy in there <laughs> wow it's a really cool shop love the astronauts especially the gold one he's really good this store is just we're gonna be here in a little while tempted to buy a lot of things in here if you had the house for it <laughs> So we're just discussing here as we're wandering around, the streets just go on forever. Uh, first thing I love is how all the different stores are unique. There isn't, I've not seen the same store twice. Yeah, it's an all little nice, unique little small shops. Yeah, there's, there's no there. tourist trap chain stores here really. They're all very, very unique, selling a lot of different things as well. Uh, we're also saying as well that on the, a lot of the videos we've watched and the stuff we found online, they didn't really show this side of Amsterdam. They showed all the key touristy bits, uh, the usual, you know, the coffee shops down by the red light district, all of that. But not this side of it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. It's so much nicer than what you could ever think as well. And you could literally, we're going to start to head, you know, back now because we could walk right out. You could just walk miles and miles all day. And I think so many people put off going to Amsterdam because all they think of is that little tiny section when it's yeah. not. You could go to Amsterdam and not go to that section out. Yeah, yeah, it's literally just one street where that all that goes on. The rest of it is all like this. So we're going to keep walking. If anything jumps out, of course, we will show you. The lovely building in the distance we're going to show you as well uh, when we get there. You're just going to be careful crossing the roads because there's bikes and trams and cars. It's a nice uh, Bentley going by there. No, loving it. It's, it's even better than I thought it was going to be. Just love the buildings. So if you fancy yourself an English breakfast, you can get one here, but it's not Tenerife prices. It's uh, eight euros 90 in here, which actually isn't that it's bad. It's not too bad, no. Not for big city. You come over here, it's a big yeah. city. Yeah, so not bad at taxes, all. Yeah. And then just behind you, you've got a view of this stunning, beautiful building. I wish I knew exactly what it was. I will try and find out, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I think we might have to start putting in maps now, roughly the route home, roughly, because yeah. we're going to be well lost. Where well, this uh, big, uh, you know, lifting and lugging barrels around, just pump your Heineken straight 
in to the pub. <laughs> they must have tanks inside, they just fill them up with the Heineken. It beats uh, lugging barrels around, doesn't it? Never seen that before. We've just stopped in this lovely little bistro here. We've got two caramel lattes and a lovely looking ham and cheese toasty for me. Lovely in here, isn't it? Really nice, really quick, really friendly, yeah. And it's just started to rain outside as well, so we've come in to just get a little bit of, a little bit of shelter. Well, we are uh, nicely refreshed there. We had two nice coffees. That ham and cheese toasty, I've got to say, was one of the best I've ever had. Homemade bread. Yeah. It was delicious, really hit the spot. Uh, that was 20 euros and 90 cents for the toasty and two coffees. So Not cheap, you're paying city prices. Uh, what I will say is though, I've noticed that there isn't much of a tipping culture over here. We're normally used to giving tips, but I think the price is that high that they get a good wage. They don't need the tips. Um, a lot of the places are like card only, so you haven't really got an option of tipping anyway. Yeah. So I have noticed, let me know in the comments if you've noticed it as well. It's uh, not huge on tipping over here. Uh, let me know if you've noticed as well that Laura has got caramel all round her lips. Oh, bye. Are you saving a bit for later, were you? <laughs> this bit here is a big, big thick bit of uh, oh caramel God. going on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you tell it was a good caramel latte, oh can't you? God. So we're back now in this square where we showed you earlier where the sign is about pickpocketing. It's much busier than when we were here this morning. I'm just going to have another little wander around. Just uh, again, see where the day takes us. Then we'll go back and refresh at the uh, houseboat, have a nice shower, refresh. I've got to upload a vlog, do some emails, and then we'll be back out later doing our live stream and then somewhere for dinner. So we have done a lot of walking today and Laura's choice of the boots, which look fantastic and are lovely and warm, were not the best for the amount of walking we've done. So as an early Christmas present, I have treated Laura to a pair of on clouds like mine. So we're like matching now. Laura's got the waterproof ones as well. How comfy are they, Laura? Really, really nice. I mean, they should be. We've gone for the waterproof ones because a little bit a little bit warmer and like some waterproof yeah. as well, good for England and everything. I will say if you are going to go and buy yourself a pair, Go a size or two up. Yeah, make sure you try size. them on because look, I was true to size 11, but Laura's normally a UK 3 and they're a UK 5, so do bear in mind the sizes can change. But yeah, Laura's uh, now going to be walking miles now. I know. The uh, boots have given you some blisters, haven't they? Bad ones, yeah. A nice little early Christmas treat from me for you. you so much. that's what we always say instead of doing Christmas presents, we wait till you want something or you see something you really like or what you really want. And Laura won yeah. really fancy a pair anyway. And uh, the saw boots today just topped it off, but they're lovely. I really like them. Right, let's go and do a bit more walking then. Yeah. So on the way back, Laura's treated herself to some spicy ketchup fries, the chips here. You can get all different flavors. You fancy something a bit spicy? Is the ketchup spicy? No. It's very spicy, obviously, but it is lovely. You've got loads, loads on there though. It's OTT for the ketchup there, isn't it? I know, but well, it is nice. Good. Yeah. That'll tide you over till tea, won't it? Going, yeah. So there you go, we've tried another little traditional thing there, fries, you can sit inside as well. It's dead quick as well, they're good to go, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you now join us at the Hard Rock Cafe for dinner. We got the boat back across. Uh, it was a little bit of a walk, about 25 minutes. Along the way, we did buy a lovely uh, Kinder Bueno chocolate muffin. The shop was just full of gorgeous cakes and uh, Laura got herself seven different flavoured gluten-free macarons, which we've got here. And 
And uh, big gluten-free menu here at the Hard Rock, Laura? Yeah, there's burgers, it's always on there, but then there's um, more choices of entrees and then there's even um, sandwiches. So there's a lot going on. I'm going to go for a nice chicken burger. I think we know what we're getting in here. Uh, we just wanted a good full meal and then we've got our live stream coming up in about 45 minutes which I will link in the description if you didn't see it but yeah it's, it's been a nice walk along the way it's been some lovely sights and things yeah some of the Christmas lights are just stunning I must say as well very very prompt quick service we've ordered already we've got a lovely view of the building behind and this you might not be able to tell with the reflections there's a nice uh, one of the canals with the river boats on we're celebrating good times I'm liking it like the vibe as well, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice vibe and a really nice layout as well. I've been to many of the hard rocks all over the place and none of them are quite laid out like this, spaced out nice. I think this has to be like this for the way the buildings are built. Yeah, I just yeah. love that view that you got. You're normally looking at like, you know, memorabilia or something. There's a nice view out the window. Absolutely. Got good yeah. seats and we're in a nice area to do our little live stream as well. Well, nice quick service. There's Laura's gluten free burger. Got my chicken burger there, looks absolutely amazing, exactly how I wanted it. So uh, I'm happy, really fast. Looks good, Laura. Nice and spicy. Perfect. Well, Laura's just having a little boogie there. The uh, food was amazing, wasn't it? Amazing, fast, exactly what I wanted. We've yeah. just ordered a couple of desserts as well. We have to do dessert for me in this one. We still don't do, so I'm excited to have it. I'm enjoying the music, it's not actually heavy rock. It's a good little atmosphere in here. We've got the canal boats going by, and so I've enjoyed it. The food is spot on. Spot on. Well, I think we overestimated on the um, the, the brownies front because this is just ginormous. No, it is massive. Laura's is gluten free. I think we've uh, sort of overestimated here. <laughs> well, we had a wonderful meal in Hard Rock. Uh, really enjoyed it. We had some nice brownie for dessert. It was absolutely massive, so I am defeated. But we are now coming on the Lovers Canal Cruise. Uh, which is a light river light cruise that we're going on specifically you can do the normal one or you can do the river lights one and we're going on the river lights one uh, in about 15 minutes which worked out perfectly we can't wait to do this we've seen a youtube video on this and it looks amazing so it's gonna be a nice night for it the rain has stopped it was spitting a little before a little bit before and yeah we're gonna have nice views of all the lights and this is a 75 minute tour and it's 26 euros 50 so i think it's very good value uh, considering we spent uh, 28 euros on a muffin and some macarons before. So we've got our little headphones to pop in and listen to all the information about what we're about to see on this river cruise. And open the window as well, I think, so you'll yeah. be able to get a nice view. Ooh, yeah. There you go, through the glass. Perfect, we'll so we'll show you the nice sights along the way. Well, a really good little ride there on the uh, river tour. It was all audio. Uh, the audio was good. It wasn't annoying or anything like that. It was just as and when you needed it. And also, you weren't listening at this point, but you were talking about the um, boats, the houseboat, and you said the houseboat that they've got now, they're not allowed anymore. Oh. So the mooring fees are really, really expensive and really hard to get. Oh, okay, so yeah, there's loads of interesting facts going on. Um, and it was really good, all the different lights that they have set up. I didn't want to show them all because it would just ruin it if you wanted to do it yourself. But it was very pleasant, it was nice and warm on there. I told you the art gallery that made it and why they made it and what idea they had behind it as well. Yeah, 
you could open the windows if you wanted to or you could have them closed it was very enjoyable very relaxing it was a nice hour or so uh, we did a big loop and it was very good yeah. Yeah, I thought that was uh, it was worth the money I think yeah because it wasn't it was 26 quid it's not is it not compared to when you as I said paid that for a muffin and a few <laughs> few macrons so yeah, but no, very enjoyable so, yeah. very enjoyable we might have a little last final sort of mooch in this area before we uh, jump on the ferry back if we see anything that catches our eye we'll be uh, tuning back in We've decided, since it's quite nippy and we've got a big day tomorrow, we want to be up early, we've decided we're going to head back and just chill a little bit. I've got to upload the vlog, make a thumbnail, charge everything. So we are waiting for the ferry, which is 20 minutes away. We're going to get ourselves home. Put the heating on. Put the heating on, get nice and snuggly yeah. and then be up and out early. Again. We're going to come down, have a Starbucks and get our day going. Yeah. And hopefully go up to a rooftop. We might go up here. Or we might go up to the Hilton. We're not too sure yet. But yeah, we're heading back and we're going to get a bit of an early-ish night. So that is going to be it from us for today. I hope you did enjoy it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. I will link in the description the little live stream that we did as well. I love the little riverboat tour. Looking forward to tomorrow. There's just so much here. Yeah. So many museums, so many streets you can walk. All kinds. You could be here all week and just walk and walk and walk and still find new things to see uh, so do make sure you tune in and subscribe to our future videos thank you very much for watching hit the thumbs up and uh stride on we will see you tomorrow for another busy day in amsterdam hey guys